you need to you know, use that specific driver that we're using. And again, that driver is that, that OPC driver. Now, I wanna show you another thing too, just to make sure that you have this thing set up correctly. You can go back into your OPC topic in your RS Lynx Classic OEM, go to Topic Configuration, and the OPC that you set up should be locked, okay? If it is not locked, maybe you type something wrong or maybe something was input into the system incorrectly, Go, just go back and fix it. It's that simple. But again, you may have to, uh, at this point, like restart the actual program or even at this point, exit the program just like this. All right, so in this video, we're gonna show you how to use the Easy PLC Machine Simulator and tie that into your Studio 5000 Logix Emulate. Now we're gonna do this with a Studio 5000 version 31, and we're gonna do a simple example here. I'll show you. So we're gonna start this and build this all from scratch, but we're gonna actually come in here and do this very first simple example, which is going to be the conveyor. Um, Easy PLC uh, actually comes with all these uh, basically pre-done things that you can actually program all the and it also gives you the ability to edit your own as well so you can build your own machines you can do everything but we're going to show you a simple example and also show you how to basically set this up to work with Rockwell software so what we're going to do is we're going to start this real quick and it's going to load and as just keep in mind as we're doing this we already have our program now I'm going to program this from scratch I haven't done anything in the program whatsoever. So I'm gonna program this from the very beginning to show you exactly how, what you can expect and what you should see. Now, in this we have a photo, we have a photo eye, we have a, basically a conveyor, we have another photo eye. So if we were to look at our IO real quick, we can see we have one photo cell, two photo cells, we have two photo eyes, and we have a conveyor advance or conveyor forward. So we can actually go ahead and simulate and emulate that. This is advanced, this is reverse, right? So we know which way those are, right? And, and that, of course we can't, we can't force a actual input and output based upon the actual, uh, because these are actual live photo eyes in this software, right? So with that said, you can easily come in here and understand what you need to program. Now, now that we need to know what we have that we, we're gonna program, we're gonna come in and set this up a little bit uh, we're going to do our programming first, right? So we're going to come in here and we're going to do uh, basic programming on this. We're just going to come in here and do some, uh, we'll throw in two rungs maybe, and that will do, uh, let's throw this in here and let's do a branch. Let's do, a, uh, and then let, let's come in here, add this in here. I'm just going to program this real quick and we'll call this uh, conveyor forward. Okay, this is gonna be the conveyor forward. And then we're gonna say, okay, go one direction if the photo eye is made, and then if the photo eye, if the other photo eye breaks, goes the, go the other direction. So we'll call this uh, photo eye two, or photo eye, we'll actually make the tag, Let's, that'll be easier on us. We'll make the tag PE1, and this will be PE2, PE2. And the cool side about all this too is you don't have to use any kind of difference uh, besides normal RS Logix or RS, uh, RS Lynx Classic. I'll show you that in just a second how to set that OPC up. Not a big deal whatsoever. Really, really is super convenient and easy. It also teaches you OPC, which is very, very much a powerful tool. So when we're coming here, we're gonna go ahead and do our programming. This We already have forward. Let's do reverse. Okay, we're gonna make the tag, we'll call this conveyor reverse. All right, so let's spell this, uh, or get that, that letter correct. Okay, this would be that. And we're gonna throw this in here, and we'll put that in there. We're just gonna do two little, little like sealing circuits for each one, basic programming, real simple. Now, keep in mind too, so this is this is controlling our, our basic, uh, uh, you know forward and reverse however we still need a rung up here to start our system off or it's not going to run at all so keep that in mind we're going to come in here and say okay well if nothing is running and no photo eyes are made so if no photo eye is made 
and nothing is running, right? No conveyor uh, forward or reverse is running. Then we want to have a system start. So start system forward. And we'll just we'll just start the system in forward. Not a big deal. So what we'll do is come in here and let's add another little branch in here. And we'll add a foot or we'll add a contact in here. And we can keep this just like this to we might kind of throw all this at the branch level if you wanted to, but in all honesty, um, it would just complex make things a little bit more complex so let's keep this just like it is come down here just like that and I want to keep it so you can see it alright so what we need to do now is we have our emulation done we have our we added our emulator already so this is actually what I did is I pre done I, I actually pre made our um, our actual processor and put it in slot 12 so in slot 12 right here you can easily see that if the properties is version 31 and you can see it's already done now if you wanted to add one all you do is click right here click create and it's real simple you just add you know you just add whatever you need now in this case uh, and that depends on what version you have as well too right so in this case we're going to go ahead and download our code now in the instance of what we're doing I want to show you this as well too so we'll crank up uh, RS, Lox, RS links so in RS links, if you don't already have your AB underscore VBP1 driver, you're going to come over here to your driver, click that configure driver, you're going to drop down and you're going to add your virtual backplane and then in parentheses it says softlogic 50, 58 uh, USB right here. You're going to add that driver in here. Now I already have that driver. It's the uh, it'll come in and say it's the AB underscore VBP one right here. That's the one running. So that's where I would see all of my everything that's inside of my um, Studio Five Thousand Logics emulate my chassis right here, my emulated chassis. So with that said, go down here and this is going to be our our one right here. Now we're going to add in our OPC in just a minute, but let's go ahead and understand to get communication from our PLC program we just made and to download this we're going to come in and select slot 12 because our processor is in slot 12 we're going to download this and I will say that sometimes you can you can go online and just download it or you can hit download um, and it really depends on what your preference is right so in this case it's a very very simple uh, routine very simple uh, example we're gonna go ahead and set this up all right so we're downloading all right so we got it downloaded and we're currently in the remote run so we're gonna put it in run mode so it, it comes on and turns on our conveyor which is no big deal we haven't done anything yet we need to still add our our data link in here so keep that in mind over here we're gonna we need to add our OPC in here which is going to be our IO drivers so we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to add in our DDE slash OPC topic right here. We're going to call this topic conveyor. Okay. And we'll just copy that real quick, but we'll make a new one. All right. So, so we got that in there. It's called conveyor. Okay, so with just this new topic, let's go ahead and get rid of it. We actually clicked that on accident. Make sure you have the, the one we added is called conveyor. And we're going to come in here and use our same AB underscore VBP1. Come in here and do that. And we're going to come in and use slot 12. And then we're going to hit apply. This is going to link our OPC that we made to our communications path inside of our RS links classic right this is going to link that and I will say you have to use you can't be on uh, the free version of RS links which is RS links Lite. you would have to be on a paid version which is uh, pro or classic right or classic OEM so now we have that set we can check and by default it all comes in correctly it's adding in then so we're done at this point on adding our OPC. We will check that in just a second. But let me show you how to how to 
actually tie this into um, Easy PLC's machine simulator. So we're going to go to I/O drivers. We're going to easily pick up the driver name. We're going to come in here. And we're going to pick the OPC underscore driver underscore ENH, the enhanced version. Okay. This is going to be the best implementation. We're going to click the for that for Alan Bradley. It would this would be the exact implementation you would use. So in this case, we'll hit configure. This is going to pop up our box. Okay. Now in this case, you will come in here and naturally see that this has nothing in here, right? So put your topic in here, whatever your topic is. In our case, our topic name and RS links and our uh, actual uh, OPC that we want to attach to is called conveyor. Okay. So we want to add in the name conveyor. Okay. And then we want to come in, in and add in all of our tags. Well, the simplest thing to do is to come over here to our tags and add PE1. Come over here, PE1, PE2. All right, so open this up and you add your input. We'll go PE1, add that in, PE2, add that in. Now, next we're going to have conveyor forward and conveyor reverse. So we'll, we'll add these in, conveyor forward, and then conveyor reverse. And I like to just paste these in here and just change the wording just to keep it really easy. Just make sure you do spell things correctly because it, it is going to be looking for that direct tag. Okay, hit accept. You can change your polling rate up here if you want to. Uh, digital polling, 50 uh, milliseconds is really fast. Um, it's pretty, I mean, that's fine for what you want to do though. You can change it to 100 if you want to. We're going to hit accept up here. And then we're going to come back into our software. And now we have our PE. We're going to drag this PE right here to our photo cell one. Drag this to photo cell two. Drag this to conveyor forward. Drag this to conveyor forward. And all we're going to do to get this thing started is come over here to exit and hit start driver okay so start and exit driver so this will connect to our actual program and it will come in and start our process now I probably got the photo eye wrong I think I did here's the cool side to this and I did that on purpose as I'm going to show you how to fix that easily come in here and we can change one or two things we can change the photo eyes which is very simple but uh, let's just do that. Let's just go and change this to here. So this is photo I2. This would be photo I1. And this would be photo I2. Okay. Add that in there. Done. Now, you might think to yourself, well, how do you fix this? This is real easy. Hit restart machine. So this is how easy it is to use the Easy PLC Machine Simulator. And now you can see it is working back and forth. Right. So now, with the code that we just set up and again I, I made it that small for a reason so you can actually see the code as it's running right so you can actually see all of this let's shrink this down a little bit more because it's not that big of a code you can actually see the code actually going back and forth now I will say this again this is the proper setup of how to link your studio 5000 RS logics right for your actual Allen Bradley uh, PLC right you need to you know, use that specific driver that we're using and again that driver is that that OPC driver now I want to show you another thing too just to make sure that you have this thing set up correctly you can go back into your OPC topic in your RS links classic OEM go to topic configuration and the OPC that you set up should be locked okay if it is not locked, maybe you type something wrong or maybe something was input into the system incorrectly, Go, just go back and fix it. It's that simple. But again, you may have to, uh, at this point, like restart the actual program or even at this point, exit the program just like this, right? You can actually exit the program and do this. So it's really, really, really simple to use. And again, you come to machines, 
Um, it has an editor too if you want to edit from scratch. It's really, really a powerful tool. And again, come over here, you can restart it. So if you did type something wrong and you wanted to restart the system, you come in here and you can see this stuff running, right? Now, I will say if you wanted to stop everything, you come over here and stop everything. But in the case of what we're doing, uh, we can come over here and keep it running as long as we want to. But I want to make a short little video on, on how to actually see this, how to, how to make a small program, very simple, uh, nothing complex, but how to make it work, how to show you how everything's work. And oh, by the way, too, you can, uh, you can change your viewpoint just by merely you know, changing this over here. So if we wanted to, we can come over here and change your viewpoint right here. Let's just come over here and get right here, change the viewpoint, and it's just that simple. With that said, now we can see the box going back and forth. We can see the photo eyes being made, and we can pull up our logic just like this. So you can see how powerful this tool can be, right? And let's go over here just so we can see the logic going back and forth. Uh, again, starting and stopping, you don't need to actually see. But again, you can see the logic going. That is exactly how that's working. So hopefully that was a, a really helpful and educational video on how the software works, how to make the OPC tie to the actual um, the machine emulator of Easy PLC. And again, when it comes down to the using EO, Easy PLC, there's a ton of features that we're going to talk about a ton of features that we're going to show you how it works, right? But I want to show you a very, very simple il illustration, introduce you to it, and also show you how to make that tie between your OPC for your RS Lynx Classic, that tie to actually work with your machine simulator. But it because again, you have two different softwares that come with Easy PLC. That's Easy PLC, and that's Machine Simulator. Now again, this is a very, very powerful tool. Uh, very good for education, very good for uh, building your own machines and seeing how things work. So with all that said, if you are interested in this, uh, you can contact me. My email will be below and we'll uh, basically I can actually get you, I'll probably get you a discount for this software. Again, it's, it's a lot more cost effective than factory IO. Again, similar, but this was actually produced and made way before factory IO. So there's a lot more features to this that we will be showing and how it actually flows and works. So if you're interested in advancing your career and learning how to actually program, this is a very, very powerful tool and very cost effective. But I get a special discount that I can give you. Just my email will be below. You can check that out and uh, just shoot me an email. We'll be glad to set you up. All right, with all that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.